All right, people, welcome back to our next video. All right, guys, so you guys may know already the Xbox Big Picture Mode is out. That's the new software that's coming out for the new Rogue Ally and also for other devices when they release it. So it's basically a launcher for the gaming community, right? So um, it's coming out soon and they put out a release version so that we could test it out for them and see how it goes, right? All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to install it, how to get it up and running, right? There's a few things, because before I couldn't get this up and running because it wasn't, my insider program wasn't giving me the option. It, was, it wasn't working, actually. So you gotta make sure you get all your updates done, guys. So go in here, in your Windows settings, you want to make sure everything is updated. And then, once you do that, you come here, and then you come down to Windows inside the program. All right, so what was happening to me when I was here, when I pressed this, it wasn't giving me the screen. It wasn't giving me this screen. Full update on everything, make sure everything is up to date on my system, and then it start giving me the screen right here. Choose the dev channel or the release preview. Let's go with this one right here, release preview. Hit continue. Once you continue, you come here, you continue again. So now you just hit restart and it's gonna restart your system. So while it's doing this, it's gonna do a couple of updates and stuff like that. Let's let it go through the whole process and you should be good. All right, so once you're back up and running, come back here, you go to settings real quick and go to system, then scroll down to about, then you come right here, right? So this right here, we need this to be 25H2. See it says 24H2, we need it to be 25H2. So now we got a couple more updates to get through guys. So now I come back to Windows update, come here, let's check for updates. All right, so now the only thing we're doing now is just updating. So every time you come here, hit check for update. Anything that's there, that's update. So until we get that screen where there's no more update, then you don't stop, guys. Just keep going because there's a lot of updates. So let's keep going until you finish all the updates. All right, so you're going to keep an update. So at one point, at one point, right, you will see this in one of the updates. So Windows 11 inside a program preview, go release. UPR, right? So once you see that, then you're almost at the end, guys. So let's keep updating until you get there. So let us do this thing, and then you should be good once after this update. All right, so once all the updates are done and you're back in, it's gonna take a while, guys. It's gonna take a while, especially on the last update, right? Once you're done, you go to settings, go to system, scroll down to about, go here, Scroll down, and now you're on 25H2. So now there's some files you gotta download, and then we are gonna get into it. But um, some people have it off rip as soon as you get to 25H2. So if you get to H, if you go here and you go to gaming, you should see a fourth option up here that says big picture mode, something like that for Xbox. If it's not there, then you got an extra step to do. Not that hard, just a few commands and stuff you got to put in to get it up and running. All right, so now let's get started on that, guys. All right, so I put a link in the description box down below. You got to download um, something called Vive Tool. This is it right here. So once you download it, you got to extract it. So you're here, download it, all right? Then if you go to downloads, Should be in here so now you want to extract it all right so you come here you can extract all and you want to extract it to your c drive so you hit browse come down this pc c drive then in here you just want to create a folder so you right click and go new new folder and then you want to name it vive tool and then you hit select folder all right, so once you do that, you just hit extract, and then it should extract everything into that folder, all right? Let's just go in here real quick, make sure it's there. All right here, guys. So everything is extracted in there. All right, so now that we got everything good, so now we just gotta do the command prompts just to get the feature available for us. And this Reddit page is telling you exactly how to get it done, and we are gonna get into it right now. So first, need command prompt you want to run it as an admin right click run as admin yes and then you want to direct the command 
to the folder, right? So whatever you name the folder, Vive Tool, you want to direct the command towards that. What we're gonna do is so CD space C backslash, then you put Vive Tool, enter. Right, so now we're saying that, oh, we found the folder and everything, right? So now the commands that we gotta enter now, this is where you get it from. You get it from the same website I was showing you. So the first one would be five right here. So just gotta copy it, go back, paste it, enter, and see it says successfully set feature, right? Now you go back again, get the second line of code, copy like that, control V, enter, and then successfully set feature again, all right? All right, so now you can close this out and then the next steps are right here. This is where I tell you to go. So now I can minimize this. So now you gotta go to the registry, open this up. All right, so you're in my computer and then you go to HK local machine. We can go to software. Then now you're looking for Microsoft, look for Windows NT. Windows NT guys, not just Windows. So it's not this one, Windows NT. Then uh, current version. Now we look for OEM, right? So scroll down. You could even bring right here. I make this a little bit wider. Right here, guys. All right. So now we're here. You're looking for a device form. You want to press on this, and then you want to change. Make sure this says two E. So you just got to add an E. Or if you go in here, it says forty six, right? So let me see something real quick. Let's go that. This must have two, but you gotta change. You could either change this to 46. And then it should, yeah, so see, so either one. So if you change this to 46, or this to 2E, it will go either way. So 40, you could come in here, put decimal, you could put 46. Or if you go to hexadecimal mode, you go just put T2E. Just make sure they're both like this, guys. Then you press OK. So now, most of the time when you get here, it would already be saying the right thing. But if it's not, you just got to change it. So now you got everything situated. Yeah, you can close this out. Hit the system with a restart. So now, when you're back up and running, let's go back to settings. Go to gaming. And now you see the new option, right? Full screen experience. You click on this, drop down menu, you wanna select Xbox and enter full screen experience on startup. Yeah, so that's basically it, right? So now let me just hit it with a restart and then see if it's gonna boot up in the Xbox. I don't know what's happening. I think it's just installing an update. And this is big picture mode. You swipe up and say so you switch between everything. And let's see, should have all my games in here. Yep, all my games are in here. I didn't even restart, I don't know how I'll pin here. Oh, I got in here. But usually when you restart, you should just come right in here because that's how I set it. And yeah, guys, I got to test it out. See what's going on. I see how well it's working. You can head back to Windows desktop from here as well. All right, so that's basically how you do it, guys. So I'm gonna test it out, see how it works, and see what's going on, and let you guys know what's going on, right? And if you like what I'm posting, guys, hit that like button. Sub to channel for more awesome content, guys. And remember to always say, health is wealth, peace and love. I'm out, guys. Thanks for tuning in.